Hey everybody, Mega Yoyo here, back with another Shovel Knight Dig video. Today we're going to be focused on how to unlock all the armor plates in Shovel Knight Dig. I'm going to start off by telling you how to unlock the armor. Might be simple, some of you might not know how to find them. Easy guy to pass up. And then after that we're going to get into the secrets and we're going to find every single piece of armor. Without further ado, let's jump straight into it. In order to unlock the armor, you need to go down to Smeltworks. And he could be in Smeltworks area 1, 2, or 3, but he's not going to be super hidden. Keep a lookout for his hammer, which is embedded into the wall. This is where he's going to be hiding. All you have to do is go up and smack that hammer, and you're going to open up a hidden room. You're going to find him there, cowering in fear, because he's being assaulted by Fire Jelly. You'd be that upset too if Fire Jelly was coming after your booty. All you have to do is clear the room of Golden Knights, and these uh, fire jellies and then he's gonna be relaxed no more tension go ahead and talk to him say everything's okay he's gonna go back up to hoofman's of the surface area and right off the bat you're gonna be able to get final guard armor and the ornate armor the ornate armor is not gonna do you any favors you will look cool though uh, points for style but the final guard is gonna be great for those beginners who are having a little bit of trouble increase defense at the cost of reduced money but you also get to keep more money when you fail and you also get to keep an accessory for your next run let's get these armor plates from top to bottom the first one is gonna be spore knights armor so from here got dizzy and dropped my temp plate uh, what a sight blue glow and mushrooms everything was as tall as me so this gives you a hint that you need to be hit by some of those spores to shrink down. By the very nature of Shovel Knight Dig, being a roguelite, rooms are always going to be randomized. So we're going to do our best to try to find these tiny holes. It's not in any specific room, but always keep an eye out for destroyable walls with small holes, because that's what we're looking for. That's going to be our priority. The hardest part about finding this plate, the scrounger plate, is just finding, honestly, that hidden wall. Once you find it, most of the time you'll be golden. It'll just give it to you, but you gotta make your way down through this multi-level maze or platform area. Once you got it, you can just go back out. Also, if you only equip the armor right away, you do not have to finish your run. You can simply go back to the surface and the armor will have it ready for you. Alright, now that we're at the armor, let's look at the scrounger suit, which is Spore Knight's armor template. It is a, uh, it's a challenge piece, alright. To unlock it, it's going to cost you 5,000, and it vastly increases your item luck, but you also begin in a weakened state, and you also get reduced prices at shops. This is a great challenge run. It's also good if you want to feel like you're just getting a lot of stuff throughout your run, like you feel like you're not getting enough items. I highly recommend this. Although you can't take as many risks due to your health being cut in half. Alrighty, for the next armor, we're going to be focusing on the Streamline Mail, which is going to be found in Mole Knight stage. The armorer here says that he lost the template when he took a shortcut and his hammer could put nary a scratch in the damp rock and wood in the exit. This one is probably the easiest one to get in Mole Knight's area, the Secret Fountain. When you reach the exit area of Secret Fountain 1 or 2, you may be given an exit that is blocked off. Don't worry, because this is damp soil, Shovel Knight can easily dig through this and he's going to find the hidden armor template. Let's go back to the armor and check out the Streamline Mail's capabilities. The Streamline Mail is going to cost you 7500 and you can always earn a free accessory every stage but without side rooms. You can't visit all the areas in one run, so if you're trying to get the true ending, I would not recommend this mail. Time to tackle the grove pits and find the ballistic armor. So the armor template hint for this says, Those thing and pest must have loved my design, because they wouldn't stop swarming around me, and he had to hide the template. Alright, so this one is going to be a bit of luck based. I was trying to look for this thing for 40 minutes, no luck, with the final guard armor. And I was like, maybe I need a little bit more luck. Because, just so you know, this is hidden in dirt. It's not hidden in anything else. It's not hidden in those walls that protrude spikes. So in order for you to find this, either you have to be really lucky. In both my unlocks for this armor, I decided to put on the scrounge armor because that increased my luck. And then voila, I just found it in the dirt. So if you're having difficulties, I recommend equipping the scrounge armor and digging around in the dirt and hopefully you get it in a reasonable amount of time. The ballistic armor is probably the hardest armor template to find just because it's so luck based. 
but if you love speedrunning, then it's definitely up your alley. The ballistic armor is going to cost you 10,000, and you can jump in the air into a more mobile form. What is this more more? <laughs> what is this more mobile form? You ask. Well, you kind of get like this slow to double jump, and then you roll up. This is not an attack. I want to tell you that right now. What this does is when you hit dirt, all you have to do is hit the direction button and it will automatically just run through your dirt. Look how smooth this looks. It's super fast, effective. You don't have to mush your, mash your buttons out. Uh, be careful though, because if you're going down, you might miss a lot of things. You get a little bit of a height boost when you do that double jump in the midair. So if you need to get some ledges that are kind of above your reach and you have nothing to pogo jump off of, this is a great suit for that kind of stuff. Or you find yourself in that situation a lot. It's kind of a fun suit to just kind of mess around with, especially if you're just trying to dig right down the middle. Time to get the Conjurer's Coat, which is found in the Magic Landfill. The tip for this one from the armor is magical metal was all around me, just waiting to be collected. My pockets filled up, so I had to stash the template behind a nearby shield. And it's just as literal as it says. All you're gonna have to do is play through the magical landfill as you would normally, but keep an eye out for a shield on the wall. Once you find that shield on the wall, just go ahead and hit it, and you're gonna be automatically given the Conjurer's Coat. The Conjurer's Coat is a nice little coat for those who enjoy accessories and magic more than physical combat. You have the added benefit of holding on to two accessories, and every time you destroy an enemy, you will be rewarded a potion. Obviously, you lose a little bit of defense, but your magic ability and capabilities boost through the roof. Time to get the Combo Curious, located in Drill Knight's Castle. This is probably one of the riskier ones to get, because you do not want to die on the last stage of the game. That being said, we're going to have to go head to head with the Omega Saw, the one hit kill Omega Machine. Make your way down to Drill Knight's castle, and then at this point, you are going to dilly dally until the Omega Saw arrives. On the top of the saw, there is a weak point. You are going to be able to jump off of this pogo bounce, and you're going to need, I don't know how many hits exactly, but you are going to need to destroy it. And look what happens when you get careless. Luckily, I had a Phoenix Feather so I can come back and destroy it, and once you destroy it, you will be given the armor template. The Combat Curious is probably my favorite suit of armor. Defeat foes and dig dirt to build up your combo and earn more gems. This is great when you're trying to get a bunch of money to unlock everything the game has to offer. The most expensive one at 15,000, but well worth it. Time for the last armor set. This is the Brash Bracers, and this one is kind of random. You're gonna need Mr. Uh, the Mole here. What's his name? Romba Tomba? I can't remember his name. But uh, what you're gonna need to do is you're just gonna find him and on um, Tom Balda, that's his name. You're gonna have to make sure he has the blueprint and then you need to make sure your timing is right. There is a timing to this. I unfortunately go ahead and mess it up by a second, but I'll let you know the characteristics of the Brash Bracers. You get double damage, but anytime you take damage, you are gonna go down to permanent half health until you complete an arena. It's great if you like risk over reward. You do a lot of damage, everything is doubled. Not my favorite suit, but I do like going in there sometimes when I'm feeling risky and I just feel like absolutely wrecking some of the bosses. And that wraps up the Shovel Knight Dig Armor Template Guide. I hope you found this video helpful. I hope you get all the armor templates in a reasonable time. I know luck plays a part in some of these, but some of the most better ones are usually pretty consistent. Like I said, Combo Curious is my favorite one, and that one is just as simple as breaking the top part of the Omega Saw. If you have any questions and that I can help you with, please let me know. And if you found this guide helpful, please leave a like. Let other people know that this guide is really good for them, and share it with your buddies that need some help around. Thanks again, guys. Uh, shout out to Yacht Club's game again for the review key, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Have a super day.